guys, in today's video I will be showing you all my hamster stuff. Just because I felt like doing this video. Um, and quickly I just want to say I will be doing a hamster video and a fish video. Or at least I will try to every day. Um, or maybe a hamster video one day. And a fish video another day. And yeah, so... Can... It's... Um, could you leave suggestions for videos? And yeah, so anyway, let's get on with the video. So, I'm just going to show you all my hamster stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to start off with this box, which is like most of my treats. Um, so I've got my Harry Hamster Seed Mix, my Tesco's Hamster's Travels and Mouse Seed Mix. I just have the um, one of the little boxes that my... Um, Hamsters came came in, so I've got a carrier for when I if I have to go to the vet. I did keep a couple of them, and then I've just got these treats that I made myself. Let me hold on, let me just show you them. They're just like that, and I obviously do cut the ones that are really big up, but there are some that are really little, and I just give those to the hamsters, and they're only allowed one once a week. Well, when he gets a small one once a week because um, he's obviously prone to diabetes being a hybrid hamster, so and they've got peanut butter, in, so yeah. So basically, now I just have this, which is not at all to do with hamsters, it's just um, they're like they're just plant food tablets because I do grow a lot of plants. Um, I might do a video on the plants that I have. I just have some pieces of cardboard down here that I put in the cage sometimes to chew on. Rocco and Royal really like these. Um, I haven't actually put one in for Bob, so I will just quickly do that. He's not much of a chewer though, he likes to climb and dig a lot. But we'll see. So I just have a few of those. And in here I just have some corn. And yeah. So it's just got dry pieces of sweet corn in and um, a few sunflower seeds as well. They're just in there in case I run out of sunflower seeds. They're just my extra ones. So that's that. And then I also have this, and you're probably thinking, why is there tropical fish food in there? It isn't. I'm not going to open it, actually, I don't, apparently. But it's got just this. Um, it's got um, hamster treats in. They're just sunflower seeds. As you can see, they're all on top of there for Bob. And Bob's just coming out. He's really cute. It's his playtime at the moment, and he likes to play. <laughs> he plays like once a day with me, and then he'll come out a couple times as well. But yeah, my dog is fascinated with Bob, especially just because he's easy to see them walking around. And he's noticed there are treats up there, and he will try and climb and probably fall over a few times. Um, and then we just have Bob's hamster ball. It was for Rocco and Royal, but they don't like it. They just sit it and sit in it and don't move. And then I have the no arms, which is pretty much just for Rocco and Royal, because Bob doesn't like them at all. So Rocco and Royal really like these. Their favourite treat. Um, and then we've just got all that. And then this is just my little scoop and scoop out poop. From just when I do like my daily sock cleans. Look how far I saw a huge fire in the hamster cage. It was just an illusion. <laughs> um, then I've got my hay drill, which is just hay. So I can make like that stuff. I will show you inside the hamster cages as well what I have in there. And then I have, there's a couple of hamster things in there. There's like a hamster box in here as well, another one of those. Um, and then in here I just have my gloves for holding Bob. He's my only hamster I can hold and he bites me. So we have to wear the garden gloves, but that's okay. He really doesn't like my dad, which is really funny. He really likes to bite my dad a lot. Then we just have some toilet paper, which I just rip up and give it as nesting material. You can see they have it there, and that, and that, and then here. These guys have it. There's some in there, which you can't see because the book's put on there. Some in there as well. I think there's a bit behind the towel thing there because they like to sit there. And then I've just got loads of treats in there because I keep my parents keep them all so I can have them. For DIYs, and I actually discovered I can make hamster bedding with toilet paper tubes as well, which is pretty cool. Um, bounce, calm down, baby. So that's what's in that straw, and then I'm just going to show you what's in. 
Actually, you know, I'll show you a couple of other things first. Okay, so I have this tub of flora. <laughs> no, not really. But it was a flora tub, but it now just has the seed mix, which is a mixture of the Tesco. Yeah, no. That tes the Tesco seed mix. Harry Hamster seed mix, which in America is called Hazel Hamster. It's the exact same thing. I don't know why it has a different name. There's a, some millworms in there, sunflower seeds, and some corn in there as well. And Bouncer, obviously, wants it. Sometimes I try and give him pieces of peas, and he likes them usually, apparently not. But yeah, he likes the dry peas sometimes. Um, Bouncer's a very fussy eater, but still. And then I just have this, which is got no lid on it at the moment, but it's full of sunflower seeds. But I did buy a huge thing of it the other day from the chemist because they sell like hamster stuff as well. One second. Okay, so yeah, this there's the sunflower seeds in a bottle. And then there's the seed mix. And then we have this, which is just this is the thing I use to scoop out the bedding from the cage. And then this is was just to help that I can't use it for that anymore because at the moment we're using it to um, comb my dog's fur because we can't find his other brush. We think he's hidden it because he did that with his first brush. He's scared of brushes. He doesn't like having his fur brushed or anything. And now, sorry, my floor is gross and a mess. But we have this Tesco's. Wood cat litter, it's just wood pellets and um, it's really good for hamsters. It's odor control as well, so that's pretty good. And now I'm just going to show you the stuff. Actually, quickly, I have another thing which is by my window, so one second. Okay, so now I'm in my living room. We just have this which is drying by the window. It's just some hamster bedding that I made out of toilet paper, and this brown stuff is the stuff that was made out of the um toilet roll tubes but yeah i've just got the drying it's nearly dry now i'm gonna leave it till friday and then i'm just gonna sort of use it in the cage which means rock and roll get a shorter time of having the cage dirty because i clean my hamster cages every other week because i don't want to do it every week because they don't like it and it's stressful so yeah so that's that and we'll just go back to what's in the hamster cages Okay, so now we are going to look at what's in the hamster cages, and that should be up there. Basically, I'm just going to show you all my stuff that's in the hamster cages. So I have this, which is the tunnel tower I made. It's just made of toilet uh, toilet roll tubes and masking tape, which just holds it. And yeah, so that's that. And then behind it, they've just made like a nest. They burrow down there sometimes. They're not there at the moment. They're both, I think, they're both in this house that I made. It's got the door and a window above, and it also has a little toilet roll tube in there because they like to sleep in that. And sorry, this has been a really long video. And then they also have this, which is what they can just climb up, so they can just climb up on there. And then they have, I think, two of these in here. I'm not sure where the other one is. But they're just wooden blocks of Jenga that I have put boiling with some fruit and berries and it tastes really nice for them and they but they they don't actually chew much rock and roll like to food cardboard not wood but yeah so they also have this corn thing it used to have corn on but i left it in there in case they want to chew it which they don't usually but we'll see rock and roll just in there um they might come out they probably won't because they're scared of everything they're really hard to tame i'm probably not going to get these guys tamed because they um are about a year old and they're rubberoskies which are quite hard to tame so yeah but anyway this is their food bowl which i actually made myself when i was in brighton with my sister i did do a few vlogs there i will be going to brighton again soon so i will vlog then as well um then i just have these two tubes at the front them to go in. I also have an underground tube, but they can't really go in there because it's sort of clogged with just hamster bedding. And this is what the um, wood pellets look like, by the way, guys. They just look like that. And they're just mixed with this bedding. And I don't really like having it as a surface bedding because it's not very soft. 
but I am going to make some, and yeah, but that's pretty much their cage. Oh, they also have their water bottle and water bottle holder in this tidy house. And I've forgotten a whole bunch of stuff. There's also their hay scratcher, which they can just scratch the hay out. They don't scratch hay much. This they do like, as you can see, they've been working on it there. It's just this, like, toy world tube that's been folded at the end, and it just has hay coming out, and they like to chew that. And then they just have that tidy house as well. Then this is Royal, um, what kind of, by the way, that's Rocco and Royal's cage. Okay, in here, um, is... Uh, I forgot to say what they are. They're actually um, Roboroski, um, they're Gooty Roboroski dwarfs, so yeah. And then in here we have Bob's cage, and he is a hybrid between a Winter White and a Campbell's, but he's got definitely more Campbell's in him than Winter White. So yeah, but what we have in his cage is just this wood chew. I took out of Rocco and Royal's cage, they had three, so I thought I'd give him one. So they have two now. And he has the hay scratch, which he has scratched a bit there. And then he has his water bottle, which is just the blue one. It's exactly the same as that, just blue. I think it's slightly bigger as well, but I thought it looked really cute. And yeah. So he's also got his bendy bridge, which I did have in Rocco and Royal's cage, but they don't really like it, so... I gave it to him and he likes to burrow under those. You can see he's collected some nesting material and put it under there. He usually takes the nesting material out and usually puts it up in here. In here. He really likes his strawberry hidey house. Um, he really enjoys it. So, yeah, there's the strawberry hidey house. He loves to sleep in there. He's got a food stash in there. And yeah. He likes to sleep in there in the day and then he likes to sleep in this in the night. And this just has sunflower seeds on the top. That's what they are. They're not huge hamster poops. <laughs> um, but he is just in there. He is awake. He's just sat down in there. I think he's in there anyway, but I don't know where he is. If he's not in there, he's not moving in there, so. Oh, there he is. There's Bob. That's scary because he bites a lot. But there he is. And then that's just a tube he's got with two holes in. And then he's got the toy roll tube just there. And then he's just got this little piece of cardboard to chew on. So yeah. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. That's Bob. And we're coming around still holding. Hiding. So yeah. Bye guys.